We have uh, uh, our next uh, comedian. A comedian is from Venezuela. He's Aliana Almao. Okay, when I say pussy, you say power. Pussy. 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 Let me hear the feminist. Good, good crowd, good crowd. So I went to a feminist uh, meeting the other day. What a waste of my time. <laughs> I am Venezuelan. I was born in Maracaibo. Maracaibo. Somebody speak Spanish here? ¿Quién habla español? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? Ah, ¿vives aquí? No te voy a Ay, qué bueno. Por lo menos alguien habla español aquí. Curruta, curruta, qué bueno que está. Curruta, curruta, qué bueno que está. Échale un poquito a la maraca para que suene. Cha, cha, curruta, cha, cha. Muy bien. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here again. I want to tell you that I started my comedy adventure here in the Comedy Café. And three years ago, I was pregnant, and I had purple hair, and I had my first comedy set here, and I realized, hey, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Tell my problems to strangers. <clears throat> <laughs> so, and, but no, then I decided to go to therapy, you know, it's like less, <laughs> less compromising. <laughs> so you don't have to blow it out in front of everybody and like have a, uh, emotional meltdown. Cause that's like frowned upon here in the Netherlands. People are like, I like there was a fire. There was like a freaking fire next to my house. Like the house was on fire. But it, like when the firemen were there. And I was like, not one person screamed. Not one person, like everybody was just like, looking at the fire like this. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? There's a fire! Oh, I the fire! And I was like, oh yeah, nobody's getting emotional. What's up with this? <laughs> and I'm used to, you know, I'm used to like talking with my hands. I mean, people here are like. <laughs> Let me think about this. I'll come back to you tomorrow. <laughs> Check my agenda. Uh, Venezuela is known for the Miss, Miss, Miss Universe, you know, the woman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna confess it. I mean, do you guys think I'm pretty? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I love you guys. So then, uh, the two people. Uh, no. <laughs> In Venezuela, uh, girls, some girls are like the Miss Universe. So they're like number tens. Let's say they're tens. Right? So that makes me a fucking two. <laughs> it's true. I, I, not, I, I mean, in Venezuela, if I'm here, I'm like a 12. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I notice that everybody's like wanting to get these features. Like, I know that like people want to get my lips. Like, I didn't have to pay anything for my lips. And I see everybody like walking. <laughs> we have categories. And there are some people who are at the top of that category. And that's why they win Miss Universe. Not that I'm uh, traumatized by it or anything. <laughs> what I want to say is that Venezuelan women are like all about beauty. And that's beauty highlights what's ugly. I don't know if you heard about this, but when you see a beautiful woman, at least I feel intimidated. And then you have like people here, like women here, they don't want to be sexy. Have you noticed that? They don't want to be sexy, and I don't understand why. You know, because they want to kind of compete with men, so then they feel like it's unfair if they're sexy, so they couldn't get to the top because they were cleavage. And I'm like, I'm trying to win. I'm gonna show my movies if I fucking need to. <laughs> Notice that I'm wearing like no cleavage, because I learned that here. Because when you come here, like from the tropics, like. Uh, we lived outside, I mean, in the jungle, I mean, under a tree, eating mangoes, having sex on the beach, whatever, you know? <laughs> naked, running naked, right? <laughs> and here you have to wear like fucking five layers of clothes just to get out of the house. Good luck to that. And I noticed that people, Dutch people, 
are not touchy at all. Like if you touch a Dutch person, they actually, like especially because I have very cold hands all the time, because I'm like, you touch them and they're like, boom! <laughs> And they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, I need one meter and a half of personal space. I'm like, we don't have that in Latin America. I'm just like, I'm your friend, amigo. <laughs> Come right here, girlfriend. <laughs> what are you talking about personal space? There's no personal space here for anybody. <laughs> because we're sharing this mothership and we're like moving in space together. Nobody's leaving. <laughs> Dutch women are super beautiful. Like, blondies like you, I really like. I mean, it's very exotic to me, like, the blondies are super, super, super exotic <coughs> to me. And then, um, but I wonder what, what's the difference between Latin women and Dutch women? Because Dutch women, they're cute. They're like cute, you know? They're, you wanna marry them. They're just like, you wanna have But then Latinas, we're just hot, you know? <laughs> we're just fucking, woo! to have a good time, that long time that was my set. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've been a wonderful audience.